Now this uh, is off of a Briggs & Stratton 13500 8000 watt uh, generator and this thing here uh, is a GFCI okay now I'm going to replace this it broke and uh, what's funny about this is when this happened uh, the grounding wire to the chassis uh, popped which is kind of weird uh, but it's working fine you know now but uh, probably that's when ha that happened but anyway the, the real problem with this is this is a uh, bonded and if you hook up this to uh, the house that's already bonded so you can't have both uh, and if you actually hook this up, uh, bond it, it's going to shut off because uh, it'll trip this breaker. So we need to find out how to unbond this thing. And of course I already took it off. Let's see what the heck, uh, what, what's in here. So what we have is obviously this is the ground and this is the neutral and uh, this is power and the opposite is power so we have power, power, power and then uh, out of the which over there we get the blue power to these guys out of the breakers so we got power power blue blue and white here and this is neutral this is neutral this is just uh, passing it over to this breaker and this here is the jumper right there that is the one that supplies everything this this is the one that bonds it because it comes from here so if we put a switch right here if we just uh, run I guess uh, cut this wire out and run it out maybe to the front somewhere yeah there's some space over here you know, see there's some space over here at the back. Now, this is, there's the, over here at the circuit break. Actually, it, it fits right here. It's a good spot for a, for a switch. So what we'll do is we'll cut this guy and right there. That's all you need to do. Just take this wire, just cut the uh, cut this, run two wires over here, and turn it on and off for house and uh, for generator use. And that way, you can use it for both. So that's it. So this this right here will do it because it's ground. He goes ground, ground, ground in, and ground back. Okay. Now I gotta make sure. I gotta find out from the generator itself the, the, uh, whether there is any other jumper except this one. And if this wire is just bolted to the frame, then a uh, frame of the generator then this is all we need to do is just cut this wire and put a switch over here and flip it. So 
we're going to see, see if this is going to be correct or not. So right now, this guy here should be connected to this guy. And it is. And this guy here should be connected to that guy. Generator is not running. All right, so that's that's that. So let's see if this is correct here. So all we do is, and it, and obviously it's going to work. Just take this guy off for a little bit here and and see if we are in good shape. So we just unhooked it. Let's see what happens here. There you go. That's it. Go back over here. That's it. Got it made. So that's that's the only jumper, obviously. Alright, well temporarily put this thing back to where it was. That is the solution right there. All we gotta do now is make sure that there is no other jumper inside the frame. Of the generator. And if there is no other jumper on the generator, then uh, we're safe. Otherwise, we don't want to, you know. I mean, y the chances that the, somebody will get, get electrocuted is really sl slim uh, because you have to have a short. Okay, so we're connected and we're back. So that's all we need to do. Just run a wire from here. Run, uh, or run a, yeah, just put a switch on this, on this jumper here. And probably the best place to do it is just put it uh, right there, right next to the breaker, because you're gonna turn this guy on to get the power to the house. And uh, just put it right here, do it at the same time. You can't put an interlock on it, or you probably could, but uh, it's not worth it. Anyway, that's what we'll do. So, this is the generator. And let's see if we can get the... Let's see. Nope. Oh boy, I hope I brought the... Brought some... Something that will fit it. Yep. That'll do right there. Let's see what's in here. peek in here. I'll tell you one thing. These guys are really, really, really sloppy. Oh, here it is. 
is right here. It's just hidden. Just didn't get a look at it. There it is. See that? And there is a, definitely no jumper, so that is the ground wire. Why did they... I can't even see the damn thing. It goes around. Jeez. All these guys really made a mess in here. Yeah. So it just flips around and, and grounds right there. You go. So all we gotta do is just do that in the control box or panel, whatever you call it. So here we are. What I did is I made two holes in the back of the box, like so, and I connected. See that jumper here was here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this wire out to a switch, this switch, and. On the way back, you know, I got a wire out of the out of here so you can see it. Okay, so this is a return wire. It goes back to the ground, so not messing with the uh, little jumper there and all that kind of stuff. So you just zip tie it right there and run a wire out to the switch on the outside and run uh, one here. And when you close the switch, it's going to close this loop. Okay, so just make two little holes there. Run the wires out and install that switch on the outside. And uh, by the way, this is a uh, this is 10 gauge uh, ground wire. You can get it at Lowe's, you know, for 60 cents. So here's the generator. I took that those wires that I had built before and see they're running from here on this end you know and they come back over here to the switch right there you see so right now this generator right now this generator is floating and we're gonna check it right now it's floating and this right here should not beep and it doesn't now as soon as you flip the switch there you go see flip the switch up turns bonding off okay same thing over here here, this guy, this is, uh, well, either one of them, this is ground, right there, see, so it's on, wait a minute, let's see, can't hold it, off, on, off, 
So all we have to do here is when we run this, we're going to have to, when we hook it up to the house, we're just going to have to open it up there. As soon as it comes back, turn it back on for generator use. Now, what, if you notice one of the things that I did, though, you got to be careful. Um, that there is the ground. This is this here is the ground for the generator. And uh, this is unhooked here. You know, I unhooked it. And the reason for that is if you make a mistake on this switch uh, and there happens to be a short, uh, then uh, you got a problem because this is going to be charged. Okay, th that's going to be charged. Um, because when you look at this, now this is the ground here, and this is the frame. Okay, so the ground is there, but if we switch it over to the white, there's nothing. And once we turn it back on, there's a bond. See? So, that's what you want. This is the bonding. That's the neutral, and we don't have anything. When the generators, that's generator use. So, just, uh, you know, rather than, uh, I guess, uh, rather than, uh, you know, open it up and hook it up to the house, this is definitely the way to go. So when you go to the house, just hit the switch, open it up. Now what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to label it for whomever ends up with this thing someday, or maybe not. Well, they eventually will. But um, this is what you need, just to cut the bonding. And uh, again, you got, uh, you know, you got the, the neutral and the frame and nothing. That's what you want.